In finance, you can build a career at a financial financial institute. Dude, it's hard. <laughs> financial, financial. Welcome to Career Stories, where we sit down with individuals to tell us more about what they do. Whether you're looking for a job or you're just curious about what different careers look like, this series is for you. At Michigan Works Southwest, we help folks move ahead. Investment banker, trader, financial advisor. These are some of the popular careers in finance, all of them high paying and highly competitive. In finance, you can build a career at a financial institution or at a corporation. We sat down with Jacob Miller, who helps people manage their money and invest for their futures. <laughs> or no, you mean... <laughs> My name is Jacob Miller. I'm a financial advisor over at Edward Jones and a certified financial planner. So mostly my job is to get to know what's most important to you as a client. Everyone needs an advisor to work with. And it's not so much just stocks, bonds, investments sort of thing, but it's just the planning component that comes behind it. Making sure that we're doing what's in your best interest using all the tools that are available. My grandfather was the type of guy that as long as you have food on the table and a roof over your head. You never talked about money. You probably all know somebody that's like that in your family. You know, he planned his life for the age of 70, but as he got into his 70s, he started to have more worry about his finances, his planning, started taking on credit card debt, took on reverse mortgage in his house, and it's just a bunch of horrible financial moves, but it was the only moves they could make because that was you know, all they could afford. And so he passed away at the age of 82, and now my grandmother, who's still living, is taking on all that debt. Seeing that, it's like, okay, I don't want that, one. But two, I don't want my parents to be under that same umbrella of them bickering at each other over money. And, and that's how a lot of families break apart. And so if I can make an impact by being front and center, working on these goals ahead of time, you won't be in those situations. And if I can make an impact, then I know I'm doing some good. And instead of leaving messes, you'll be leaving legacies. I was invested in CDs at a local bank. Back when interest rates were a lot higher, you can get a 6% CD and you thought, man, you were stealing money from the bank. The bank financial advisor, he introduced the idea of a mutual fund. You know, there was some stocks involved and some bonds involved and the ins and outs of it and how there's market fluctuations. and But the return potential was gonna be significantly higher than a CD. I thought, boy, I'm the only person that must know about this thing because why isn't everybody invested in this instead of CDs? And so I said, sign me up, I want this. I asked him, I said, what, what is your job title? And he said, financial advisor. And so I looked and researched financial advisor on Google, learned more about him. I was like, this is exactly what I was thinking about for a career. And if I could teach more people about these mutual funds that I didn't think anybody knew about, then we're gonna be doing something good here. And so that was the direction I went. I took a stab at it and the rest is history. This is a people business. You have to be able to know how to communicate. And more importantly, you have to be able to know how to listen. You could talk all day to somebody, if you're not able to understand their specific needs and their wishes, or even what's on their mind when they're coming in the office, you're not getting anywhere. I know a lot of people think you need to have strong math skills or you have to be really good at sales. Well, those things aren't as important. A client is not going to come to you and give every single dollar that they have to their name if they don't trust you. That's where it's really important to be able to listen and to be able to communicate as well. A bachelor's degree is definitely important to have. Most firms require it. I have a bachelor's degree at the University of Michigan. I got an economics and statistics uh, degree there. I took on originally about 10 branches across the US and I was actually the only advisor that managed $1 billion, $1 billion <laughs> of client assets over a phone. What that taught me was that People are different. Every single person is different. The, the beauty of this job is that you're meeting all sorts of people from all walks of life and the stories that they tell, it's just so fun to learn about their stories, become one with their family. It definitely is a, a joyful job, that's for sure. And it's rewarding too, because you, know, you obviously don't do this for free. I would recommend that 
anyone who is interested in this industry study for what's called the security industry exam. It will teach you about the basics of finance, uh, what is a stock, what is a bond. That is something that you do not have to belong to a financial firm in order to take. And if it's not something for you, then I mean, you find out without having to actually apply for a job. My income is going to be reliant on how much effort that I put in. And so that puts on a little bit of stress, but also there's the good part about it, which is that you get to see that added value that, and that change and that impact that you just made on that person's life because of it. For more information about getting a job, getting trained for a job, or bringing a job coach to your place of business, contact Michigan Works Southwest or find us online at michiganworkssouthwest.org.